Yo, what's going on? Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be talking about dividend investing, why I invest in dividends, how I invest in dividends, and why I think investing in dividends is the best way to go. Let's hop straight into the video. So if you didn't know already, there's four different types of stocks that you can have. You can have blue chip stocks, income stocks, growth stocks, cyclical so stocks, if that's how you pronounce it. I think it's cyclical, I don't know. And defensive stocks. And today the ones we're going to be mainly looking at are blue chips and income stocks. These are ones that can produce dividends, especially the income stocks, because income stocks produce high dividends, they have a high dividend yield. And I'm going to talk about how I invest in them, um, why I invest in them, and which ones I've personally invested in so far. So if you don't know what a dividend is, basically every quarter, or it could be every in three or more, once a year, there's loads of different terms for it. Um, a company, once it's produced profits, will uh, declare dividends, which is essentially like part of the profit to give out to its shareholders. Different companies give out different amounts of profit, like different amounts of dividends, depending on how well they've done or how much they want to give back. So, for example, uh, a $40 Coca-Cola share might only give 40 cents, but then you can have like a $20 share that's giving the same. And obviously the $20 share has got a higher dividend yield than the Coca-Cola share. However, the Coca-Cola share could be deemed as better because it's a blue chip stock. Well, no, they're all blue chip stocks, but... It's a, it's a more, however, Coca-Cola could be deemed to be a better stock anyway because it's been established in the market, it's been around for longer. Um, so again, it's all down to what sort of investing you log. Personally, I all prefer to invest with dividends, but I still log lots of invest in the established stocks that give out dividends purely because you know they're not going to go bust, you're not going to lose your shares. So it's probably the best way to go. So the first and most important thing when investing in dividends is finding the trading platform. I think the three best ones uh, one of these doesn't get spoke about a lot, the other two get spoke about all the time. Um, these three are free platforms, you don't have to pay, um, they merely just take commissions at times. Uh, apart from that, there's no like, fee to, there's no fee for trade to take place. Um, I know on one of the apps you can pay to have a trade more sooner, um, but you can also do a basic trade which you don't have to pay for, so swings and roundabouts. So if you go on YouTube and search dividend stocks, Robinhood is going to be one of the major platforms that people are investing in. The reason for this is just because it's free, it's easy to use, uh, there's no limit on what you can you know, put into the account, um, and it's just, it's just really simple, it's easy to navigate, and a lot of people do recommend it. It's not the one that I use, but if you do want to use Robinhood, go for it, it's very well, very well established. Um, the second one's M1 Finance, a lot like Robinhood, except I think it's a lot more analytical. Again, I don't use M1 Finance, so don't quote me on it, but I've heard it's also a very good um, platform to use. Again, it's free, like Robinhood. Um, like I said, the, it's a lot and more analytical. Uh, it's not as nice a design as Robinhood from what I've saw, but it's still a decent platform to use. Now, the third one that I'll use personally is Free Trade. No one really speaks about Free Trade, at least I've never heard of it spoke about before. Free Trade, again, it's a lot like Robinhood in the way it's laid out. It's nice, it's actually, oh, it's nice, it's actually, it's nice, it's athletic. It's a, it's a nicely laid out platform, it's athletically pleasing to use. Um, it's not as analytical as I'd like it to be, but you can still get a decent amount of insights on there. Um, there's quite a large variation of stocks. However, some that get recommended on the internet aren't actually on the app yet, so I'm waiting for that to get updated, but it's still a fairly new app. I mean, when I downloaded it, it was still in beta version. Um, I think it's in full version now. Um, and you're talking, I've got literally like nearly £400 worth of stocks, I think, maybe a little less, and I've had no issues investing so far, it's been perfect. Yeah, I've, I've had no issues investing so far, it's an easy to use platform. I mean, literally, I'm scrolling through now, you've got your one day scroll back, your seven day, your one month max, um, it shows you all your investments, so it tells you how much you're up or down since you began investing, or currently up. Um, I mean, you've got your insights, which breaks down what your portfolio is made up of, so you've got your stocks, your cash, your commodities, your bonds. Um, and then within those things, the sectors that you're covering, so energy, food, fashion, telecoms, uh, travel, others. Uh, then you have a discover page, which is discovering stocks, uh, an activity page, and an account page. It's really easy to use platform. I'll put a picture on the screen at some point to show you guys. Yeah, it's a nice platform, it's easy to use. I do enjoy using it. I think it's great for beginner investors, um, and without a doubt, I would recommend you guys use it. Uh, so now we've got the platform out of the way, it's which stocks do I invest in. So out of what, out of seven different stocks that I own, um, six are dividend producing, 
One was a growth stock because I invested during the coronavirus crash and that's gone up quite a lot. I think, yeah, the investment I made was ASOS. It's up 94% at the moment. Um, but I know the other week it's up about 117%, but I uh, recently there's been another crash. So I'm expecting it to pick back up again eventually, but I reckon I could get up to about 150% return on that, which would be very nice. Uh, the other six that I own, the six, um, the other six that I own are all dividend stocks. So starting from the top, we've got two shares in Coca-Cola, 25 shares in BP, uh, two shares of at and two shares of Carnival, seven shares of Renewable Infrastructures, and one share of Apache. Uh, renewable Infrastructures was only bought because it was so dirt cheap, but I didn't realise I actually paid dividends, which I was happy about. Um, probably the best dividend yield out of these, at and T, BP isn't bad. Renewable Infrastructures is shit. It's like one p for, like, for the pound, which is not the best at all. Uh, Coca Cola, as I said earlier, ain't the best. It's like forty cents for forty dollars. So it's like again one percent. Um, but there's definitely better ones you can find out there. They're just the ones that I mean I've only been investing since Christmas, so four months. They're the ones that I've got so far, and I mean I literally take the smallest portion out of my wage each month because I don't earn a lot as it is. I'm on minimum wage, apprenticeship wage, which is even less than normal minimum wage. Um, so I just take a small chunk out each month, invest into that. By the end of the year, I do want a £1,000 portfolio, so if I do get to that point, I'll review at the end of the year. But those are the stocks that I invest in. So all the stocks that I've covered there, all paid quarterly, they're all um, every three months, apart from Coca-Cola, which is quarterly, but it's not quarterly. It's quarterly, but it's not quarterly, because they go, um, it'd be February, no, it goes uh, April, June, October, uh, which is obviously all three months, <coughs> which is obviously all three months between. From October, it does a two month jump to December, and then does a four month jump back round to April. So those two uh, quarters are a little bit different, but in general, it is a quarterly stock. Uh, the rest of them pay every three months. Um, and yeah, all I really do my dividends is just reinvest. I don't earn a lot. I think I've worked it out, I earn about $30 yearly, which is absolutely jack shit, but obviously, as the portfolio increases, and eventually, once those, once those ASOS stocks sell, I'm going to reinvest those. And it's just going to be like adding a sock. I just want to keep reinvesting. I don't take no money out at all. So that should be quite nice. So the way I find out when stocks pay, um, how much they pay, um, it's actually calculated as well. So you can put in how many shares you own, uh, the share that you own. It'll calculate how much you're earning quarterly, annually, or basically every dividend, every dividend payment. It'll tell you how much you're earning. Um, so that site's called Dividend Max. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Essentially, all you got to do is go on there. It'll give you a list. It'll tell you the last pay date, the next pay date, um, how much it is, you know, like per quarter, per interim, per annum. Um, the amount you fill in the amount of shares you own. It'll just fill it all out for you. Um, literally every stock as well. I mean, New York Stock Exchange, London Stock Exchange, every stock exchange you can think of. It's got all the stocks on there. So whatever it is you're buying, it's covered. I think it also does have bonds on there as well. Bonds and funds. You have to, I don't, I'm not actually sure though, but I think it might do. So check that out as well. Um, but essentially, yeah, that's just how I do my dividend investing. Use that platform. I invest in those stocks, which I'm definitely going to progress. And I'm definitely going to uh, review that later on in the year. I'm going to show you guys where I've got to. Um, and lastly, I use that site. So that's everything I use to invest as a beginner. I'm no expert. I should have really put that at the beginning. I'm no expert at all. Um, so don't don't go in the comments slagging me off because I'm just here giving my advice on what I do. It's more a beginner's guide than anything else. I'm not trying to help any of you professionals out there because I'm not even a professional myself. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Uh, if you're new, subscribe.